All right, so for this demonstration, what we've got is a motor right here with this wheel attached to it. When I turn the power on, the motor is going to start spinning and the wheel with these balls attached will rotate at the same speed. Those balls are going to fan out as far as they can, just trying to keep moving the direction that they are moving. But when the strings get taut, there will be a centripetal force pulling them, forcing them to move in a circle with the wheel. The catch for this demo is this right here. I have an electromagnet and when I engage it, it'll shoot a razor out and cut the strings at the very top of the wheel's motion. So I want you guys to think about what you expect to happen to the ball when the strings are cut. What direction do you expect it to move? Do you expect it to keep turning in a circle? Do you expect it to fly up in the air, to spin off in a different direction? Come up with a hypothesis and I'll turn the wheel on. So with them spinning, as soon as I hit that button, the razor will engage and it's going to cut the string at the very top of the path. When we do that, you should be able to see where the balls travel. Here we go in three, two, one. Pretty good. When we cut the string, there is no longer a centripetal force acting on it. And so where they were being spun in a circle by that centripetal force, by the tension in the string, with the string cut, no more centripetal force, no more tension. They keep moving, but they move in a straight line into our conveniently set up catch basin. Maybe you intuitively saw that and went, well, they probably are gonna land in the box. Otherwise, why would the box be a part of this demo, which is good situational awareness. But as soon as we cut that string, they keep moving in a straight line and they shoot into the catch box. Without any centripetal force, an object can't turn. It can no longer continue in circular motion. So Newton's first law says that it should just remain in motion at the same speed that it was already traveling.